listen, guys, this is going to be a real rough edit. Uh, I just want to share this with you guys real quick. Um, I got a great deal um, last night, actually. That's why I don't, I don't want to start editing this stuff. Okay. I picked up, um, this is a 1978 Super Invader um, cocktail. I just want to show you guys just quickly. I had to cut the lock on the side over here because it was locked. It's got a lock on the side. But I just want to show you guys this. Okay, so that's where the money goes in. Over here, it's all original. Look, that's, I guess, where the quarters would go in. Okay, there's actually a dime in there, or a quarter in there. It's got the wood grain. Look at that. All you got to do is put a cam lock on there, maybe fix this up a little bit, you know. And, uh... That. Okay, here's your one player or two player. You move left and right only with this arcade. One fire button. Okay, this is double sided, which means on the other side, boom, you have uh, controller player number two. So I uh, picked this up from a nice uh, couple. The husband, actually, he was uh, he had it for I think just over 20 years. He was saying, and he got it from his neighbor. His neighbor had this and another arcade machine, and when he was 12, he, I guess his neighbor gave him one. He really wanted the other one. He didn't even want this one. Um, the other one, he said it was some paint game that you would trace and paint with it. If any of you guys know what game it is, please type it in, in the uh, comments below. But I just wanted to give you guys a, sh a show of this. I'm sorry the video quality is really bad, and the lighting is horrible. Okay, uh, Let's plug it in. Okay, so uh, underneath here is the on switch. Okay, and you can hear a little bit of volume. This does work. You can see um, I already adjusted the monitor. Actually, I had it out because I was cleaning it up. It didn't need much cleaning at all, but... Okay. Um, Namco. There you go. So that's a Namco uh, PCB board. And here's the style of play here. So it's, a, it's actually a bootleg of um what is it space invaders and it's actually really like the the actual monitor is just beautiful what you're seeing right here all this glass is all scratched up and uh, those of you who know me know that I'll have that replaced no problem but I just want to show you the game okay so um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna throw a couple coins in it and throw it up so and coin it up I don't know if you guys were able to hear that, the speaker's here. Okay, so I'm going to press player one. And you can see that it works. Now I only have one hand, so I'm going to die. <laughs> Let's hold it like that. There you go. Now you guys can see it better. It's not bad. It's responsive. The controls work. I'm doing pretty good for one hand, actually, guys. What do you guys think? And trying to balance the camera. Like, I mean, guys, this thing is beautiful, okay? So, so I actually had to cut this lock with a, with a Dremel. That's all I had. It took forever. For the side here, see the side? Had a lock on it. So, um, let's open it up and take a look at the inside. It's got, like, a locking bar there that's uh, fitted pretty good. There you go. If it focuses good. So does have sound there's the speaker there there's the PCB board and it's like a JAMA connection in the back so it is like an original old-school connection I don't know if I could just grab any board and throw it in and it should work maybe might have to modify the controllers but you should be able to throw games from this era for sure um, but I don't really know how that works that much okay screens in really good shape I actually haven't cleaned it yet see and it still looks great. Now there was some pod adjusters on uh, the back of the of the actual CRT TV. Now I've seen a lot of these, man, like available on the local classifieds and stuff. But I mean, they they always have an LCD in them. Like, and this has the original screen. It's just it's such a better look to it. Like it's because it's curved and everything that adds to the effect of outer space. Like it really does. Okay. 
And we have a this is a power supply here. So all arcades have these. And then back here is the flux capacitor. No, I'm joking. I don't even know what that is, but I know it does something with the AC voltage. So the wall plug goes into this guy right here, and then this guy on the bottom, if I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all labeled anyway. Like this rails, there's a bunch of rails there. See? So like the first one would be like five volts, the second one would be ground, right? The third one would be, you know, twelve volts plus, the fourth one would be for example, minus five volts, and then the last two on this particular um, power supply actually has um, it controls the AC voltage as well. So that's pretty cool. So, but for some reason, like if you look right there, you can see a plug. Okay, I'm sorry about the dark video, guys, but actually, maybe hold on a minute. That might help. So, okay, so there's there's the power supply there. Sorry, I should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> Okay, and then the AC voltage actually leaves the power supply here, and then it goes into this guy, I forget the name of it, and then it goes into a plug that powers the monitor, and I thought, you know, to myself, I'm like, can I just unplug it there and plug the monitor directly in? It turns out that you can't, because for some reason, these monitors, they don't like um, the clean AC power. It actually, like, our house appliances actually run a little bit too too well, apparently, uh, to run this. It might run it, but it can damage it also, okay? So now I know that there's a, a bunch of electronic components on this, too. I could rip this thing out and start replacing electronic parts and everything, but look at that screen, guys. The thing is beautiful. Like, this camera isn't doing justice at all, so I'm just going to leave that alone. There's the PCB. Maybe I'll turn up the volume somehow. It would be nice to do that. Uh, the coin mech does work, so you, you're going to hear something very faint when I... Hear that? Watch when I press start. You can hear it. It's got the volume. You can hear me shooting and the guys coming down and everything. Okay, I just wanted you guys to hear that. But yeah, I picked this up off a great couple last night and um it's actually it's beautiful it's it's really nice this is like a a time capsule and if it wasn't for the internet i wouldn't even know really what the heck this is so yeah i just thought i'd, I'd want to share it with uh, the subscribers on the channel i thought you guys might find this amusing and pretty cool let me just close it up we'll take one last shot of her one last shot sorry So yeah, there she is, you know, nice lucky pickup, I got lucky, I saw the ad pretty fast and I messaged right away and uh, I don't want to say how much I paid for this thing guys, but you know what, <laughs> any of you guys watching right now would have definitely paid what I paid for this, let's just put it that way, okay, now I know it's not perfect, it's a little bit worn here and there, but I can always touch those up, replace the glass, clean it up a bit, but I'm extremely happy to add this to the game room here. Um, for a very reasonable price. Anyway, guys, please hit that like button if you guys think that my new arcade's pretty cool. Uh, guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this. And uh, I'm Richard Pro Frank, and I'm out. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and press the like button below. And uh, you guys can leave some comments uh, below in the comments section of the video. Please share this video on Facebook pages to your friends and family. As well as if you guys like this video, please subscribe. This is Retro Pro Frank. Thanks for watching. I'm out.